Hello everyone, in this video I will talk about how can we filter data based on given conditions and then we will see how can we save that filter data in a file. So let me jump on to my Jupyter notebook. Here I have already imported pandas and I am reading a data frame, a data set which is from the Titanic. I will quickly go ahead and show you how it looks like. So I am pulling the initial 5 rows. So this is the data format. Now what we need to do is we need to filter this data based on some conditions. So let's say you want to find all the names or all the people whose name starts with C. So in that case what we can use is we can use LOC and inside LOC we need to define the field which we are looking for the name. So name is the column name and then we can say str and starts with. So starts with you want C, then you can just say I am looking for all the names which are starting with C. So it will give you the list of names which are starting with C. So this is one way to apply the filter. Let's try out a few more. Let's say you want names which are not starting with C. So in that case you can use the not operator and that is using the tilde sign. So here you can see I have applied tilde and this time you got all the names which are not starting with C. Now let's try to apply some more conditions. Uh, let's say you want to get the list of all the people whose age is greater than 35. So in that case, what we can do is we will again go with df.loc and inside this loc, I need to say df and then name of my column, which is age greater than 35 so it will give you the list of all the people whose age is greater than 35 now let's change this query a bit so you want the list of all the survivors whose age is greater than 35 it means you need to uh, concatenate two conditions so for doing that we need to put a bracket here and here also we need to put bracket and and this, this is the way how you can use and so normally in python we use a and d which is like this and in some other languages we use double ampersand but in pandas you you need to use only single ampersand and here you can say survived equal to one so we are expecting a list having all the survivors age greater than 35 so you can see that survive value is one and these are the only people who survived and having age greater than 35 okay so you can apply any kind of filter basically whatever comes in your mind now let's say you want to save this filter data somewhere you want to save this filter data in a let's say csv file so what you can do is you can create a new data frame let's say filtered I will say filter data frame in this way and on this filter data frame we need to call a function to csv so f underscore df dot to underscore csv and inside this csv you need to provide your file name so let's say you are giving filter dot csv so whatever the data you are seeing in an output will go and sit in your this file which is filter.csv so here i am not giving any complete path so it will store in my local folder so here you can see so this is a file which got created and it is having all those five six seven rows whatever we have seen there okay so let's let me delete this first and jump on to this okay so if you have seen let me comment out this and show you one more important thing so this is our filtered data and one thing you may notice is the first column so earlier data was not filtered so this column was showing data in a sequence but now we have filtered it so the index value itself got shuffled here and there and this thing may create problems in future if you are using such kind of data as an input so how can we deal with this first column so there are two ways either we can reset this index or we can completely avoid saving it into the file so let me try to
try out the first thing so here I am saying this and I am saying do not save the index itself index column so index equal to false so if you are running this particular line it will not save this particular first column so this time you can see that it starts with PID and there is no such column for the index so this is one way of uh, avoiding the index and next thing is let's say you want to save the index but you want it to be in the sequential form so how can you do that so let me comment out this way and so let's say you want to reset the index so rather than this arbitrary number you want something in sequence so you can do that using and here you need to provide the name f underscore df which is my data frame and I can simply go ahead and call reset index okay let's execute this and this time you can see that after calling this line we are having an index in much better way which is in sequence 0 1 2 3 4 5 now there is another way to handle this situation so let's say you want to drop this index as well as you want to recreate it so in that case what you can do is drop equal to true and you say that recreate this index for me which is in place so you can do that also let me run it oh, it's not printing So in place equal to true and I need not to mention it. So we are doing in place equal to true. So we need not to mention anything as an assignment because we are trying to change the state of existing object. So that's the reason it was not printing and now it is coming up. So this is how you can utilize this reset index in various ways as well as it is very useful when you are saving data back to your physical file. So I hope you enjoyed watching this video and thank you so much.